shot. And she swallowed it. That is a monster. Hi there everybody, Trevor Randall's Outdoors Iowa here and today I've got a treat for you guys. So uh, walleye fishing has been fairly slow, I mean picking up a few here and there, uh, a lot of singles, doubles, you know in a day, some days no fish at all. Um, today was actually the day I caught my first bigger fish of the year, let's see, oh, still lively, oh yeah. So, first cast of the day, of course, and I got a three, just over three and a half pound female. And I've been waiting to get a bigger walleye to do this. And what my plan today is, oh, let me get her back in the water. So I've been waiting to get a hold of a bigger walleye I didn't want something too big. Um, I don't feel bad about cutting this one up. So what the plan is, um, I've had smoked walleye before. I bought it at, up at the Valley Fish and Cheese Market up in Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. It was really good, pretty expensive. Um, and when I did that, I thought about, you know, I, was, I, I want to get some walleye and I want to do it myself. Now, you can use some smaller walleye to smoke and it won't hurt anything. I wanted the thicker fillets from a bigger fish just so that I could get more penetration of smoke and get more time on it. So we're going to go ahead and clean up this big female and, and we're going to get her prepared for the smoker. Okay, so first things first, she's still alive, obviously. And this is something that I do a lot with flatheads. Um, walleye, it's a really good idea to do with. Bleed out the fish. So I've got a bucket of water down here underneath the truck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, in between the gill plates, and just make a cut, cut right up through, basically behind where their tongue would be. And you want to put that fish back in the water, in that bucket. So then what you're doing is you're bleeding out that fish. And when you go to cut her up, the flays will be a lot cleaner and it does make a difference in some somewhat of the taste so believe me when i say it it's worth doing it if you get a chance so all you have to do is get a five gallon bucket of water make that cut and then the fish will bleed out give it about 10 minutes to get done and then i'll be back with you guys on the floating table all right so we're back she is all bled out now She's still kicking a little bit We'll do that. But she is blood out real good. Now it's time for the, the messy fun part. So if you don't have a fish descaler, spoon works really good. We're gonna go ahead and descale her, get her ready for the flays. Use the back of a spoon and get up in there. makes a real good mess I will bring you guys back when I am done with this because it's gonna take a little bit Whew. so there's scales everywhere probably all over me too but I'll tell you what it's gonna be worth it so she's done bleeding out she descaled now now we're gonna take a flare out so I like to use my electric knife so I like to come in here behind the fin. And just a nice long play. Go all the way through. Bam. Got eggs if you want to eat eggs. So 
So we're gonna flip her over, we're gonna do the other side. There's the flays. Before I let her go in the bucket, I'm going to get my cheeks out. Always go for the cheeks. There's also a fun cut here if you guys want it. It's called walleye wings. Try not to cut yourself. All right. All right. So we've got the flays, skin on, descaled. Now we want to take this rib meat, rib bones out. Just slightly. I'm slippery get up underneath them oh my gosh and just slowly but surely take them from the meat so let me finish getting the rib bones off of both flays and I'll get back to you all right so I've got both flays ready now um, Today is Friday and I work this weekend, so I'm actually going to let these sit in the fridge till Sunday. Uh, before I go to work Sunday night, I will have a brine that I'm going to show you guys and I'll make that up. Put them in the brine and they will be ready for the smoker on Monday on my day off. So I'll see you guys when I get ready to do the brine. All right, guys, so it's Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna get this fish ready. We're gonna do a. I actually decided I'm gonna do a dry brine instead of a wet brine. Um, I did some trout with this dry brine and I really liked it, and I think it's gonna do really good with the walleye as well. So uh, all it is is it's my honey barbecue um, summer sausage mix, and sprinkle it on the fillet, and it'll it'll sucks on the moisture out and that just brings all the flavor into it so that's how we're gonna do it so i'll show you guys here in a second all right so we have our scaleless boneless skin on walleye plays here i'm gonna take them out i'm gonna put them in the tub water and maybe i should grab a bigger tub water <laughs> And real, all you want to do is just put a nice even coating on the meat side of the filet. I've got plenty so I'm going to make sure it gets coated really well. So then there's that one. That's going to soak in all the flavors. Go ahead and one and I'm excited for this I think this one's gonna turn out really good cover the other full walleye filet and I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over And what I'm going to do is it's going to pull the moisture out of this fish. Covering a little bit more there. It's going to pull the moisture out of this fish and so I'll come and I'll have to flip it a couple times, get moving around, make sure it's getting evenly coated. So we can actually 
put the lid on it. And it can go in the fridge now. So I'll go ahead and get it in the fridge. Um, I'll flip it before work and then I'll flip it when I get home from work. And it'll be ready to go on the smoker tomorrow afternoon, 24 hours. I can't wait. This is going to be a good one. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, smoked walleye. It's going to be awesome. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when we're getting ready to smoke. All right, everybody. So it's Monday night. I didn't get up too early. I went fishing a little bit this morning. Caught a few more smaller walleye. Um, I'm going to smoke these walleye flays tonight. So I already went ahead. And what you want to do, you pull them out of the, the fridge. And you want to rinse them off completely. Get all the dry brine off of them which there's gonna be some moisture in there some liquid rinse it all off really good put it on some paper towels and pat them dry and then you want to let them sit out and what you want when you touch them they'll feel sticky you want that stickiness that's what helps the smoke stick to it so we've got that ready now I'm gonna get out there and put them on the smoker we will be smoking these around 180 to 200 degrees uh, should take around one to two hours we're looking for 145 degree internal temperature and I'm also smoking with pecan wood this time instead of apple I want to see if that nutty flavor uh, what that'll do to the fish so it's dark outside right now it's nighttime like I said so I won't be videoing the whole smoker part but I'll show you a few clips of it and then I'll show you the end product hopefully this turns out pretty good I can't wait to try it Took a couple hours, but it's done now. So I got inside and just check out this caramelization on these flays. Just looks amazing. I took a little taste tester out of the tail earlier, but I think this will be best, sir. Uh, best eight when it cools off. I might try a little piece of it right now, just see if I can get the flavor. Man, I'm going to enjoy this. Smoked walleye, it's actually the first time I've ever done it. So, let's see how it is. Let's pull from the tail again where I already did. <laughs> Look at that white flaky meat still. You can really taste that pecan in it. That's really good. I think I'm gonna really like it cold though. Let it cool off and then it'll get firm again. That'd be pretty good. Ooh, great flavor on that actually. I'm enjoying that. All right guys, so smoked walleye pretty good hopefully you guys enjoy that um don't forget to like the video if you give a chance try this out wasn't hard to do uh pretty easy simple recipe because came out came out really good i bet you it's gonna be really good tomorrow so hopefully you guys enjoy i'll catch you guys later and, and dig in